We're on our way to one of the cheapest apartments on the market. We're talking three bedrooms, two bathrooms for 2,600. That's like 870 bucks each. Now this place looks gorgeous, but it's in a part of the city that I've never been to. Is it a good neighborhood? Is it a bad neighborhood? We will find out. But to get there, we've got to take the train. So let's go do that. Here we are, DeKalb Avenue, DeKalb, DeKalb. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. We took the L train and look at that. You got a little restaurant right here next to it. This'll be fun. We can do some serious exploring on our way over to the building. Not like we have a choice. It's gonna be a little bit of a walk, but you got restaurants and little businesses all right here by this train. This is interesting. It looks like a bong shop, but the signs make it sound like a deli. But then you look in the window, look at this stuff. If you work from home, your boss would love some of this stuff floating around in the background of your corporate zoom calls there's also an emergency room why is there a shipment of candy being delivered to the emergency room perfect there's a little local coffee place over here look at that they got a diesel looking breakfast too there's also drugs and lottery tickets which is worse i don't know this mexican place looks pretty good four dollar tacos i bet they're incredible they better be oh wait it says starting today all tacos are three dollars after 10 p.m is it safe to eat tacos after 10 p.m. I tried that in college. I gained so much weight. Next to that, there's a little grill and they have shakes and smoothies. Inca chicken since 1989. If the restaurant's older than you, you know it's pretty good. Unless it's a Subway. These are not actual restaurants. And this Dunkin' Donuts over here, also not an actual restaurant. Which Tiki Bar? Tiki bar. Right here, it's pretty good. good. Awesome, my man. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good one. And next to that Tiki Bar, we got another little coffee house. Look at the pretty yellow colors. Espresso, cappuccino. Why am I reading that? You know what to expect at a coffee shop. First impressions of the neighborhood. It seems like it's very peaceful until this person turns on their car. This looks like one of those vehicles that's loud on purpose. It's sponsored by everything and the driver is a bad boy. Thank God we have to keep going. Over here, there's another grocery store. Hot Pockets, two for five dollars. You'll definitely survive. Geez, look at this compound. It's got mean guard dogs, massive cage out front. This must be where the neighborhood's supervillain lives. There's a car in here with no license plate. Who knows what it's used for? Weird communication stuff on the roof. Ooh, this is cool. You don't see these every day. Oldsmobile. This thing looks great. Look at how clean the interior is. The only thing that's not great is that it probably requires leaded gasoline and gets about two miles per gallon, but other than that, nice car. Over here, there's a park where you can play soccer. If you're ever in New York and you see people playing soccer, you should watch because some of those games get incredibly aggressive and I don't think anyone's being paid to be there. I think it's just internet bragging rights. In one soccer game, I saw someone headbutt somebody else. It was crazy. That's not the only way to get injured here. There's also a basketball court. Then you've got monkey bars. Over here, there's a bunch of restaurants and shops and one of them is a deli, which is good. I'm incredibly thirsty. going with Gatorade today. It's been created by scientists to control your mind into thinking that it's better than water, but it tastes good. Ooh, I remember Space Jam. I'm telling you, everything creative was already done. Right here, we got a little Polish place. They sell pierogies, all kinds of pierogies. I think I've only had one flavor of pierogi, maybe once, but I liked it, it was good. On the corner, we've also got burgers and pizza. Now the building is over here somewhere, but I seem to be having trouble finding it. All right, I'm looking for 5438, thank God. This isn't it. And that's not it either. There it is. Looks like a nice place. Whoa. This place is huge. Huge. Look at the size of these bedrooms. Kitchen's all brand new. This looks great. And there's a staircase. What are we gonna find down here? Oh man, the ceiling's a little low, but this is like an entire second apartment. What's on the other side of this? Cool, I was wondering how we were gonna get out here, but this is kind of nice. There's a hammock, a place to drink beer, and a place to cook food. Super cool. I do wish more buildings had stuff like this. This is great. You just have to hope 
that the neighbor you share it with is cool. This is a really big apartment. It's half the floor of the building. And check this out, in the hallway, you've got one neighbor. So one, two, three, four units. And there's even laundry in the basement. Great feature. Now we're gonna check this place out and see if it's worth it or not. If you're having fun, make sure you subscribe. And if you're not having fun, I don't know what to tell you. This is the only kind of video I can make, but subscribe anyways, and if that changes, you'll be the first to know. Here's the front door, behind it is a bedroom. Over here's the kitchen, and there is bedroom number two. And this living room's insane. 26 feet, eight inches by eight feet, six inches. Now that's the staircase entrance. I'd put the entertainment center in that corner, right there, and then on the opposite wall, you can put a big couch, which can be as long as you want. And then right over here next to the kitchen, you can put a dining table. And this is definitely a living room that nobody should have any complaints about. You've got a full-size fridge, four burner oven, a microwave. There's a dishwasher and dun, 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 a sink sprayer. Counter space isn't bad. You can fit a couple things like a pod coffee maker or an air fryer or a toaster oven. But I think that's about it. Cabinet space is decent. And there's even a cabinet way up here. Now, they could have built this kitchen out further into the living room, but other than a few extra cabinets and a little more counter space, I'm not really sure what making this any bigger would have accomplished. I think it's fine. You've also got video intercom over here. This way, if it's a stalker or an Amazon delivery driver, you'll know. This first bedroom's also facing the street, which is nice. Look at how quiet it is. This is great. This room is nine feet, two inches by nine feet, 11 inches. Bed's gonna have have to go here by the windows, but if you put it here, then against the wall, you could probably set up a home office and maybe even get some additional storage. How's the closet? Not bad, but maybe again, a dresser next to it is a good idea. When looking at this room, I think the key thing to remember is the price. This is much bigger, 13 feet, 10 inches by seven feet, five inches. Again, bed by the window, and then you can have dressers and a desk on either side. It looks like the closet is the same as what we had in the other room. because. I only see those two bedrooms upstairs. I'm gonna guess that this is the third bedroom. And as long as you don't care about sunlight, this is gonna make an awesome bedroom because it's 44 feet by nine feet, nine inches. Only issue is the ceiling's not that tall. Wow, you guys are gonna know how tall I am. They are five feet, 11 inch ceilings. So uh, that must mean I'm about 5'10". Thank God I'm already married. There's also a water heater. Then we've got a closet with more stuff. But this one right here is the bathroom. And check out how cool this is. It's a little half bath. Of course, you can't be a giant and use this thing, but hey, it's here. Little sink, little medicine cabinet. Small, yes, but I think it's kind of cool. Now the second bathroom is this guy. Now for some reason, none of the lights work in here, not even this external lamp, but there's a huge tub, a nice big sink. This mirror is not a medicine cabinet, but beneath the sink there is plenty of storage. And look at the design, that's cool. They could have left it boring gray, but there's that to make it more exciting. And if you're excited and you wanna rent this place, check out the video description. But even if you're not, pick another apartment tour and I'll see you in the next video.